Hey Emma, it's Miss Pam. Hope you're doing well today. And this is our second lesson for our reading portion of uh, your day. So what I need you to do is I need for you to get out your book that says Pillow Fort Password. And you are gonna need a highlighter. And what I would like to do today is yesterday, Miss Pam introduced the uh, story to you. We did a picture walk. We talked about what we thought the book was going to be about. And then you got to sit back and relax in your fort and listen to the story. So today I would like to introduce to you some vocabulary words and words that you are going to see a lot throughout the book. So before we get into reading our book, we're gonna move our book to the side and our highlighters to the side. And right now, I just need your eyes on the screen. Now the words that Miss Pam wrote in the color of red are gonna be your vocabulary words that you're gonna see in your story. So what I wanna do is take each word and talk a little bit about it. And I'm gonna zoom in and make it as big as I can so you can see it. All right, so the first word that you see on the screen, I am going to cover up the ending part of it so that we can talk a little bit about the first part of the word, which is spelled C-O-O-K. Now let's try to sound that out together. It's gonna to be a hard C, so it's K, K. And we've had spelling words that have the double O, which makes the sound of uh, uh. So let's sound out that beginning sound, K, uh, K, and add the K, K, uh, K. So the first part is cook, and then the ending part is I-E-S, cookies. That's right, can you say cookies? Very good. So the word cookies is gonna be one of your vocabulary words. The next word that I want to go over with you is this one. And I'm gonna cover up this half as well. And the first part of the word you see is spelled P-A-S-S. -S. All right, so let's sound that out. What letter, uh, what letter do you see at the beginning? That's right, a P. So we're gonna add the short A, P -S, add the S, pass. And then we have what? Word. That's right. So let's put that together. Pass word. Password. And you know what a password is. I bet you have have played different games um, with your brothers, like if they had a fort or a little hiding place and you wanted to come in, they might say, what's the secret password? and you would have to give them a special word to enter into their fort. Kind of like, uh, just like, not kind of, but just like we read yesterday. So a password is a secret word that we like to use. All right, the next vocabulary word, I want you to look at the screen. And I'm gonna cover this one up as well. And the first part is spelled A-N-Y. All right, and we pronounce that as any. Can you say any? Any way. Any way. Can you say that? Any way. All right, and then we have one more that I want, no, two more in red. The next one that I wanna to talk to you about is this one. I'm gonna cover the ending and I believe you've had this um, in your spelling, one of your spelling lessons. 
W-A-N-T. What what want? Can you say that with me? Want. Now we add the ending ed, and so we now pronounce it. What pronounce the word wanted? Such as my dog wanted a treat for obeying my command. Wanted. All right, and our last vocabulary word is a word that you probably notice on the title of your book. Right here. Now, we're gonna look at this word because it's actually two words. And the first word, I'll give you a hint, it's something that you sleep on in your bed. It's fluffy and you like to lay your head on it. That's right, it's a pillow. And the second word is what was being made with the blankets and pillows in our story, which is a fort. And we see that in our on the title page, pillow fort. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so that we can go over all of the words that we've learned. Okay, make sure that you can see these. Okay, so Miss Pam's gonna to point to them and we're, I'm gonna read them with you and then give you an opportunity to read them on your own. Sorry if these are crooked, it's hard for me to, to see the screen. All right, so the first word we know is something we all love to eat. Cookies. Can you say cookies? Very good. Password. Pillow fort. Any way wanted. All right, now I'd like for you to try them. When I point to them, I want you to try to read them on your own. Did you say cookies? Good job. What about this one? Password. Did you say pillow fort? Thumbs up. What about this one? Anyway and wanted. So those are your five vocabulary words that you are going to be reading in your story. Now the next the next thing I want to do, I'm sorry for that delay. It sounded like the camera went off. I wanted to also point out some words that you probably already know, but I wanted to review because you will see these throughout your story quite a bit. We call those high frequency words. That means those are words we see a lot. And you'll probably see them almost every page. So in order for you to be able to read your story fluently, I'd like for you to uh, review these words. So the first word that I'm pointing to is the word no. Now if I cover the K and the W in my R, you see the word N-O. That means like, no, I don't want anything. K-N-O-W means you know someone. So again, it sounds the same, but it's spelled differently. So we have the word no, we have the word he and my, come and inside. Okay, let's say them one more time. No, he, my, come 
inside. All right, good job. So what I want you to do now is get your book. Go ahead and put that on your workspace. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. All right, now we talked a lot about our book yesterday and we know a lot about it because Ms. Pam read it. So now it's time for you to apply what you've learned with our words and you can start reading it as well. So what I want you to do is take your reading finger and let's point to the first word, which we know is pillow fort password. And we know that that's the title of our story. So let's go ahead and open our book. And we can see down here, underneath our picture, the uh, name of the author. It says, written by Anthony Curran and illustrated by Garth Bruner. Now remember, the person who wrote the book is the author and the illustrator is the person who drew the pictures. Now we talked last week about main idea and details and we got our main idea from our focus question. So the focus question that I want you to be thinking about as we read is, are the boys rules for the pillow fort fair? Do you think that the little boy's rules that he has for his pillow fort are fair? Meaning, does he apply the same rule to everybody that wants to be in the fort? All right. Emma, let's go ahead and turn to page two. Now, once you get your highlighter out, Miss Pam is going to use pink. You can use any color you want. And before we read, I want us to take this just a little bit of time and highlight our words to know. These are our vocabulary words, okay? So take your highlighter, and if you would, go ahead and highlight that very first word, which is pronounced what? You remember? That's right, anyway. It's pronounced anyway. The word underneath that, go ahead and highlight, cookies, cookies. And then the word no. So you should have highlighted anyway, cookies, and no. On the other side, I want you to go ahead and highlight the word password. Pillow, fort, and the word wanted. So you should have highlighted password, pillow, fort, and wanted. All right, so are you ready to begin, to begin reading your book? All right, so we're on page three. You find that down in the corner. I want you to get your reading finger out. And I don't want your eyes on the screen, I'd like for your eyes to be on your book and your finger underneath the word so that you can follow along with Miss Pam. Here we go. My brother wanted to come inside the pillow fort. Like okay, I'm in there peeking out. Let's turn to page four. We're gonna keep reading. Oh, we're about stuck together. Here we go. He did not know the password. If he didn't know the password, I bet he wasn't allowed in. Page five. Finger under the word my. My sister wanted to come inside the pillow fort. She looks pretty excited. She 
did not know the password. And look, he is pushing his hand out of his fort. Does she look very happy, Emma? I think her feelings are probably a little hurt. All right, let's look on page seven. Here we go. My dad wanted to come inside the pillow fort. He did not know the password. <gasps> Page nine. Ooh, I'm noticing something different. What does she have in her hand? She has some cookies. <sighs> All right, let's read this sentence and find out what happens. My mom wanted to come inside the pillow fort. Ooh, look at this picture. He's really thinking about something. Let's see what he says. She did not know the password. Page 11, I let my mom in anyway. Why do you think she, why do you think he let his mom in? I bet it was those cookies. Okay, this first word we didn't go over I'd like to go over it with you right now. It's pronounced people. Can you say people? All right, here we go. People who bring cookies do not need a password. I guess she gets in for free, Emma, since she has those yummy cookies. The end. All right, I hope you uh, were able to follow along. What I would like for you to do now is go ahead and get your highlighter back out, the one that you used when you were highlighting the vocabulary words. So what we're gonna do now is anytime we see the word anyway, cookies, no, password, pillow, fort, and wanted, we're gonna highlight that in the same color that you did just a minute ago. So let's go back to page three and get our highlighter, and we're gonna highlight our vocabulary words so that that, that that will be a good reminder for us that those words are very important. All right, so let's read page three again. Here we go. My brother wanted to come inside the pillow fort. Now, what I want you to do is take your finger and point to the word wanted. Do you see the word wanted? If you're pointing to that word, that's correct. Go ahead and highlight that for Miss Pam. Now I want you to look for the word pillow fort, the words pillow fort. Did you find it? If you did, and you're pointing to these two words, I'd like for you to highlight those as well. So the word wanted and pillow fort are highlighted because they are our important vocab words. So let's continue on with page four. Let's read it together. He did not know the, you remember that word? Password, that's right. 
Now we know that the word password is one of our vocab words, so let's highlight it. And we also have another, uh, another vocabulary word. Do you remember which word is no? That's right, it's right here. That one is kind of a tricky word because when you have a K and an N beside each other, Emma, the K is going to be silent. That means we don't hear it. And we pronounce it no. All right, let's turn to page five. I'm gonna zoom in just a little. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Here we go. My sister wanted to come inside the pillow fort. All right, I want you to highlight the word wanted and pillow fort. See if you can find those two on your own. All right, if you highlighted this word and these two words on the bottom, you got them correct. Wanted and pillow fort. All right, let's turn to page six, Emma. You ready to read it? Here we go. She did not know the password. All right, I'd like for you to highlight the word password and the word no. Try those two on your own. And hopefully you highlighted this word, which is password, and this word, which is no. Good job, Emma. Okay, let's move on to page seven. Now we're gonna talk about the dad. Here we go. My dad wanted to come inside the pillow fort. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight the word wanted and the words pillow fort. Page eight. He did not know the password. All right, you probably know what I want you to highlight. Highlight the word no, again, and the word password. You remember who's next? That's right, the mom. Okay, let's read page nine together. Here we go. My mom wanted to come inside the pillow fort. Okay, let's highlight wanted and pillow fort. Okay, let's keep going, almost there. She did not know the password. Highlight the word no and password. Page 11. I let my mom in anyway. Oh, I see a new one. Can you find the word anyway? Did you highlight this one? If you did, you're correct. And our last page. 
people who bring cookies do not need a password. So what two words do you think I'm gonna have you highlight? Cookies is one, because that was one of our vocab words, and the word password again. So hopefully, the words that you just highlighted in pink will be uh, words that you will remember when you see them in other areas of your text. All right, so what I want to do with you today, um, Emma, is since we finished reading our book, there's something, uh, an assignment that I would like for you to uh, start on your own. Now, when we talk about stories, we have talked about this in the past, that the people that are in a story are actually called the character of the story. So I want you to put your eyes on the whiteboard for me. I'm gonna write the word character. Move that down. Sorry about that. Let me just, uh, go back in. The word character. Now, a character is the person or people that are in our story. Sometimes they can also be an animal. So, I want you to think back for just a minute to the book we did last week uh, about the girl in um, the stable. We had actually two characters in the book. We had Aria, who was the girl that took care of her horse. And the other character was Duke. Those were the characters of the book. That's who the book was about, okay? So what I want us to do is talk a little bit about the characters in our story that we just read. Okay, so we can um, use our book to help figure out our characters, okay, um, or we can do it by memory. So if you look on the cover of your book, we automatically know that we have a brother and a sister. But one thing that we did not find out is they never did say their names, did they? They just referred to them as brother or sister and then his parents. So one character that we could write down is the sister. Another character would be his brother. Now, can you think of another character that we could list? Who else was trying to get into the fort? Yes, that's right. The dad was trying to get into the fort and who was actually able to get into the fort? That's right, his mom. So we have four characters listed, the sister, the brother, the dad, and the mom. Now we also have the character of the brother that was already in the fort. So we could write brother in the fort. So whenever you read a story, Emma, oh, look, Miss Pam misspelled that. I'm sorry. So when you are reading a story, there will always be a character 
or characters. In this case, we have five characters and they are people or sometimes animals um, that are in the story. So that's one lesson I want you to think about uh, that you've learned today is what the, who the character is in the story that you're reading about. So what I want you to do independently, which means as soon as Miss Pam signs off, you have a sheet that looks like this that Miss Hannah gave you in your packet. I'm gonna go over the directions with you. If you don't have it out in front of you, it's okay. I'll wait for you to find it. Now, if you notice, Miss Pam is going to fold it in half. Now, you don't have to do that. I'm just gonna fold it in half to remind me that we're only going to complete one part of this worksheet, because you've done a lot of reading today. Now, the directions ask you, first of all, you see the word character, and I'm actually gonna highlight that, and if you wanna highlight it, you can, to remind us that that's our focus, the character, okay? And underneath it, it says draw, and you can either look at the screen if you don't have your sheet with you right now, or follow along with yours, but it says draw a character from the story. So let's go ahead and highlight that word character one more time. Okay, so do you see the space right here? You are going to choose a character from the story you just read. It can be the sister, the brother, the dad, or the mom, or it could be the brother that's in the fort. You have five choices, but I just want you to choose one. So I want you to draw a picture of them. And then underneath here, if you wanna follow along, it says, write about the character. So I want you to highlight the word character again, since that, that's our focal point. Okay, so you're gonna write about the character. Now, I'm gonna do an example for you on the whiteboard, and then I'm gonna have you complete that independently when I'm done. So let's put your eyes back up on the screen, and I'm not a very good drawer, but I'll try. So I'm gonna choose the character of the mom. So I'm gonna draw a picture of the mom. Again, Emma, Miss Pam's not a very good artist. That's why I'm not an illustrator. Let me move that down. So I'm making my mom with her dress. I really don't remember what she had on. But I do know that she was carrying a plate of cookies. So I'm gonna have a drawing of a mom. That's the first direction. Draw your character. Then you have to write about your character. Now, here's what I'm gonna expect. Ms. Pam would like for you to write a complete sentence. It can be anything about that character that you noticed in the story, okay? So, if you can't think of anything, you can always go back and open your book, look at the picture, and those pictures might help you come up with a sentence. Now, it can't be the same sentence that is in the book, okay? I want you to come up with your own. So I'm gonna come up, I just thought of one. Look at this picture right here. What do you notice that's a little bit different in this picture than the other? I notice that they are wearing a hat that I bet he made for her. 
So my sentence would be something like this. The mom wore a hat in the pillow fort. Now, that's a pretty long sentence. Got my period and my capital letter. Now remember, your sentence has to be complete, Emma, so you have to have a naming part and a telling part. So let's think about that. The naming part is who the sentence is about. And who is our sentence about? The mom. And what's the telling part? What did she do? That's right. She wore a hat in the pillow fort. So four things for your sentence to be complete. A capital letter and an end mark. It has to have a naming part and a telling part. And we talked about that a lot. Remember when we, we call that a sentence? That's a telling sentence? We call that a declarative sentence. It tells something, and it always ends in a period. You remember that? So I want you to write me a declarative sentence about one of the characters in your story. Now, you'll notice that there's another part. Don't worry about this part today. We'll get to that tomorrow. All right, so don't lose this because you're going to need to pull this sheet back out tomorrow. All right, my dear, give yourself a, a big, give your brain a big kiss and a big hug from Miss Pam, and you have a great day. You worked really, really hard. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.